Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us as uh, we discuss all the important things in the world. Right, Art? Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, and today I have something really important I want to talk about. Oh, I hope so. I'm outliving another doctor. So it's a, some good news and bad news. As you know, and uh, some in the audience know, I have a 25-year rolling plan. So I'm yes. going to, you know, no matter how, if I got a, a doctor right out of medical school, you know, in the <laughs> mid-20s, okay, who barely knows how to put on a Band-Aid, uh, right. uh, I'm going to probably outlive that doctor as well in their career. Uh, so anyway, I'm having I'm having um, uh, my gallbladder taken out in a couple of weeks, and I from a surgeon, my family physician who I absolutely love, he's really great. Uh, I need to see him and get an EKG and all the other stuff you need before you have even outpatient surgery these days, uh, and all for good measure. And I get there, and um, I wasn't scheduled to see him till November, and I'm sitting there, and he says, "Oh, and by the way, I have some news to give you." Uh, I'm retiring in about two weeks. Huh? <laughs> so there's a whole story behind it and what he's going to do, and it's really interesting, and we're going to remain friends. But uh, I've been with him for 10 years, and my deal with a doctor, my primary thing I look for, my family physician, is somebody who's going to help me die in my sleep as far <laughs> away from this moment <laughs> as possible. That's and with a 25-year ruling plan, I've got a guy... Exactly what he did. He tells me the truth. He doesn't uh, make it, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, but you'll be okay and don't worry about it. So if you keep doing this, you're going to screw yourself up. And he's always pointed me in the right direction. Terrific guy. And uh, I'm going to remain friends with him because he's got a, a wonderful thing he's going to be doing in his retirement. But John, have you lost doctors this way? Well, I think, you know, Art, if you live long enough, you're going to live through a couple of doctors at least. Oh, sure. I've, I've, even, uh, even, if, even if you just move and you have to find a new doctor. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I, that's not, we're not talking about, uh, you know, right. moving and finding a new doctor. We're talking about guys who've retired on you. Right. You, you know, they've gotten so old they have to retire and you're still going. Right. And they, start, they <laughs> I, started out being, like they all started out being younger than me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, the two doctors that I uh, I have outlived, if you will, I don't think that's probably, I hope they're both still alive and enjoying retirement. Um, both great guys, and I was sorry to see them go. And they were replaced by, and you know how this group doctors work mm -hmm. and the medical associations and all that. They're all replaced by much younger guys. And you're right, there's a good chance we could outlive those younger doctors' career as well. Yeah, well, you know, they have a family physician. I, I do have a, a hint for you. Uh, uh, prior to this doctor who I've been going to for 10 years, and he's just absolutely marvelous. Uh, my previous doctor had also gone for 10 years, uh, or 10 or 12 years. Uh, uh, and uh, well, he was much older uh, when we began with it. But two things. Number one, you can ask, who are you going to go to for your doctor if they're still alive? <laughs> Okay, yeah. and the other one is uh, I didn't get a chance to ask my previous doctor because uh, he had a stroke or something, uh, and uh, there's no way for the reason. But I asked uh, the uh, the people at the front desk I knew very well, uh, who would you recommend? And for my last doctor, uh, the person at the front desk who I'm still very friendly with, she's really marvelous, uh, said. Well, my brother went to this doctor as well, and he has now gone over to the doctor that I'm currently with. Highly recommend him. So get a recommendation either from your retiring doctor or from somebody at the front desk and ask him, who do you go to? If you don't go to him, who, who do you go to or who does your, you know, would you recommend? So to me, and it's been golden so far. Good, good. And the important thing is, just because your doctor dies or quits on you hmm. doesn't mean you should stop going to a doctor. Okay? Absolutely not. I've already even I've already got so I only found this out about a day or two ago. I think on Friday I found out about it uh, on uh, over the weekend. I, uh, my wife loves her doctor. I've known that he's, he's really been great for her and he has the same kind of sensibilities. He listens and what have you. So uh, his practice uh, has something online. I made an appointment, the closest available appointment 
I could get, which is in about a week from now. And I'm going for my consultation with him and I'll probably be assigning him as my family physician. Uh, so uh, we're not gonna let any grass grow between my toes on this one. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're outliving your doctors. That's a great. Yeah, so for all of you, outlive your doctor. Okay, I recommend a 25 year rolling plan. It's just, it's worked so far for me marvelously well. Uh, but uh, if you're losing a doctor uh, because they're retiring, get good recommendations either from them, somebody that they would go to. Uh, by the way, he did make a recommendation, but unfortunately, it's in the same group that he's in, and the group has has just been taken over by a, a third party, which is not one of the premier third party groups. So uh, I'll be changing to a different group as well. So that was an added twist to it. But uh, I'll find out who they would go to. And then um, uh, that will probably give you a better shot at finding somebody who will ease that transition to a new uh, physician. And stay healthy, everybody. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.